Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we have a new Humble Bundle of interest to game developers. This one is the Evermotion Content Creators Collection, Architectural Visions. Yeah, that was easy to say. What you see in front of you, this is one of three example environments included in this one. It is very much real world assets. So you see here, this one is running in Unreal Engine. And you see it is uh, more or less, uh, I don't know, like a, a condo environment. All of the stuff you see here, a number of couches, etc. going on. And then we have this lovely bedroom and so on. Now the cool thing about Unreal engine is this. What you see here is Blender. So yeah, so what we've done is we've taken this level and we've exported it from Unreal Engine out to Blender as a GLB file. Uh, I created the lighting, so that's why the lighting doesn't look anywhere near as good. So obviously you want to recreate the lighting to look good in your app or engine of choice. As you can see here, all the models look pretty sharp. Had to clean up a couple of textures that didn't export right, but for the most part, this only took a few minutes. Again, the weird lighting, that's my fault for putting shadows inside of that light fixture. But once you have it over in something like Blender, well then you can go ahead and do this. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Godot game engine. So yeah, same level. Uh, again, some of the materials have a little bit different properties. So you're going to notice the wall. There's some uh, shininess going on here. You're going to want to change some of the reflection values. But again, everything looks super clear, super crisp. My own lighting once again. So you got a, a kind of you're going to probably be better at setting up lighting than I am. Uh, so you can get it looking a lot closer to that original Unreal Engine source. But as you see here, you can get this looking really good in other game engines. We're going to talk about the licensing details of this uh, later on in this video. But yeah, you can get this out into Blender and Godot and any other engine you wish. All right, so here we are on the Humble page. By the way, all of the relevant documentation on moving from Unreal Engine to other game engines or Blender is going to be linked down below if you want to learn how to use that. Uh, this one is a pretty straightforward bundle. It's just three tiers. There is no $1 tier in this particular case. If you do not know how Humble works, it's a collection of stuff, in this case, architectural assets for Unreal Engine. Uh, organized into tiers, you buy a hard value tier, you get all the lower stuff. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. You're going to notice the pricing here is a little different than normal bundles. Basically, it works out as one item and then middle tier and then full tier. So each each tier has one tier in it or one item in it. Uh, there's no quality progression here. They're all just great assets for the most part. There's, there's not like one is super big compared to the other. Uh, each one is a different unlock key. So if you get this one, you get an unlock key that contains all three assets in it. I'll show you how you redeem them in just a second. You're going to notice there is no $1 tier. It is in fact a $10 tier. So it's a pretty linear, well, not a linear progression. It is a progression here. It goes 10, 20, 25 as of the tiers go. So here uh, is the first one, it, it, and each one's a little bit different. This is an art gallery, uh, this is art and home, and then this one finally is the full bundle. So it's basically a collection of um, things you would find in the real world. So if you need to do a home, art, decoration, uh, appliances, that kind of stuff, flooring, roofing, uh, you've got all kinds of interesting aspects in this one. So that is how the bundle is organized. Uh, so let's go check out how it works. Basically, you redeem things on the Evermotion site. So you need to create an account, uh, you redeem the key, at checkout you put in the product key and then you get the asset that you need. So what you're going to notice here is I redeemed all three, wasn't needed to happen, but it's actually kind of useful. I'll show you why in just a second. So you see here, here is tier three and then you'll see you get a set of files. So you get the one, two and three downloads. So this is basically the same as this, it's just got an extra file in it. Now what you're going to notice is there is actually a download limit. So each one I've downloaded uh, is one of, one of and one of. So uh, as you download things, it, there is a counter. I don't know if you can call them to reset it or whatever, uh, but you get a total of 10 downloads per product here. So what I would recommend is if you're downloading these ones, redeem all the keys and then download these ones specifically first, then you'll have a full set later on. But basically that is how the redemption works. Each one is a zip file that is downloaded and you download the zip file. It's like one, two, and three here. Each one in turn contains uh, a project for Unreal Engine, which you can then, you know, export the stuff out. If you want to move it to another game engine, like I showed you in the earlier example, you can do so. Um, you just, again, need to open up Unreal Engine to open up the project. Now, of course, since this is not hosted on the Epic Games Marketplace, you're going to want to be very aware of what the licensing terms are. I have taken a look through the license. I am not a lawyer, and I am certainly not your lawyer, so take this with a grain of salt. Do be sure to check it out yourself first, but there are a few things that you probably want to be aware of immediately. First off is this part. You may use um, the Evermotion product for the following fields of exploitation. The thing that you're probably most interested in is, yes, you can use it for the creation of computer games and software. Beyond that, you're going to want to jump down here and check out what the obligations are. There is literally nothing in here to say that you have to use this with Unreal Engine. There is in fact stuff here that you says that you can go ahead and change things. You'll also notice there's a thing here about you cannot produce vulgar content, ethnic hatred, etc, etc. That is actually uh, not 
uh, true for games. So if you want to make hateful games, I guess you can. Uh, it also says that you're allowed to make changes to these um, assets as you need them, uh, but you're not allowed to redistribute them basically as assets. So you can't put them on an asset store. You couldn't publish them up to a GitHub repository, that kind of things. And you couldn't re resell them as assets, obviously. So that is the legalese. Do be sure to check that out yourself. But it does seem that you can use these just fine and you do not need to keep them in Unreal Engine. But once again, I am not your lawyer. So here is the first one we checked out. Again, uh, with the Unreal Engine lighting, it looks obviously very, very good. But a number of things in the world. Let's go ahead and bring up the other map here. So we have an overview map, an idea of the... Um, the modular assets here. So this is all of the stuff that you're getting. So chairs and plants and shelves and books and trees and ferns and uh, baseboards and tiling and then a bunch of art for hanging on the wall and a bed and some, some other stuff. And then all of the stuff you need to make the walls of your unit. And then we've got even some stuff that you didn't see like uh, HVAC plumbing and so on or HVAC piping. Um, some uh, shower curtains, I'm not sure where the, sh oh, blinds, sorry, drapes. So that is the first asset that we checked out, uh, which is actually a volume three. So this is the third tier asset. Let's go take a look at the other two. This now is going to be this one, the tier one asset. Again, there's no real tiering here. It's not like one is better than the other simply because, um, you know, they're just structured that way. Uh, this is an art gallery type setting. So you get a number of paintings and such, all of the stuff used to create the things on the wall. Uh, we got some uncomfortable looking furniture, some sign places, and then outside you have an HDRI map. Uh, and then again, the wood beams, trellising, and so on. Once again, there is an overview map of this guy. And let's go ahead and check that guy out right here. So this is the assets that went together to create this one. So again, if you're looking to create a bit more real world stuff so art and fire extinguishers and chairs and security cameras all kinds of things that you could obviously repurpose in a multitude of ways they are all available here so you got a number of air ducts going on right there and then up here we've got um the was that a trellis or a truss uh, basically the the roof going on there uh, and the walls etc that were used all available at the back and then finally we have this tier right here which seems to be a bit of a mix of both and this is a bit more of an office environment. Let's go into immersion mode here. So you see here, you've got um, some chairs. We've got some tables, a laptop here, looking conveniently enough at the Evermotion website. Uh, some more art to go with. We've got a kitchen setup, coffee maker, a number of plants. We got some more art. We got a bicycle hanging on the wall and then office setting. So again, a number of monitors, chairs, and so on. So if you need to recreate real world environments, again, obviously this was aimed at art visualization stuff, but the meshes aren't really super, super, super uh, tight. And of course you've got um, Nanite when you're dealing with um, Unreal Engine, so you can have higher polygon count anyways. But as we saw earlier on, I got this into Blender and into um, Godot, no problem at all. No no interior for those going on. Uh, so if you're looking at doing uh, recreating the real world, or obviously if you're working in arc visualization, this is very useful to you. And finally, let's go take a look at the uh, summary of what's in this guy right here. So bring up the overview right there. And here you go. So you got chairs and, and plants and hanging plants and cabinetry and then an elevator face and some mirrors etc uh and then a number of props going on here as well just magazines and clipboards and bowls and uh, light switches for your wall you can tell we're uh european here because we've got the european style plug going on right there but again if you're trying to recreate a real world environment could be a good pickup for you and once again it is very easy to get things out of unreal engine do check the article down below uh getting a single asset out is super simple basically you just click on the asset browse to the asset right click the asset asset actions and export it and then you just pick the file format you want, such as GLB, and then boom, you export it out. And you can also do the same thing for the entire map, which is what I did for that example we saw. And just do an export all. Again, pick your file format, save it out. You may have to do a little bit of cleanup, but it works pretty easily. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the Evermotion Content Creators Collection Architectural Visions. Obviously aimed more at architects, but hey, a lot of you guys are working with the real world or want to have real world scenes. Could be a good pickup for you. Again, super easy to work with if you're using Unreal Engine. And everything, in my humble opinion, it looks pretty good. It's a very uh, nice looking asset pack. Um, and uh, on top of that, if you're working in a different environment, you can get this stuff exported out pretty simply. Uh, 
and it has a very real world vibe to it. So you can think of this as a huge collection of things to create office, home, and then art gallery environments basically. And the tiers, uh, again, no $1 tier in this case. So 10, uh, 20, 25, and that gets you all of the things. So let me know what you think of the Evermotion Content Creators Collection in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.